The next drill we're going to do is what we call a base drill, the next progression. Now all we're looking for is base. In order to play football, you have to have a good base, a good center of gravity. So all we're going to do here is Drew's going to step over the bags, and then bags are going to make him keep a good base as he, as he strikes this guy with his blow deliver. Here we go. <clears throat> Set, hit. Nice base, very nice. The next drill we're going to do is a triangle drill. Get the players used to having blockers come at them and using their peripheral vision and executing good fundamental form and technique with their blow delivery and strike from all different angles. Okay, here we go. Feet. Good, good. The next drill we're going to do is a cross face drill. The same thing, I want Drew using his peripheral vision feeling blockers coming at him from different angles, except this time he's going to hit him, hit him on the rise and he's going to cross face. Okay, here we go. Feet. Very nice, very nice. The next drill we're going to do is what we call a push-pull drill. Drew's going to get a good fit on Coach Dyer, thumbs at 1-11 o'clock, good bend in his knees. I'm going to have him close his eyes and feel Coach Dyer push with pressure. Once Drew feels pressure, he's going to fight pressure with pressure, push, pull, turn his shoulders, escape into that gap. Because so many times on, on any type of block, the defensive lineman gets covered up when he's really responsible for a gap. The best way to get back into his gap is to push, pull. Here we go. Give me a good fit. Fit him up. Give me a good fit, Drew. Notice the bend in his knees, some air underneath the heels. Close your eyes. Feel the pressure. Ready, push. Good, Drew. Very nice. Very nice. Push-pull drill. 